Audi has made its name in quality mechanical hardware. In fact, you could argue much of the German car maker's success is embedded in quattro all-wheel drive or stonking four, five, six, eight, and 10 cylinder engines. But hardware isn't the thing that sets this car apart solely. It's the new A6 sedan. I think you could argue that in-car technology is what really creates a point of difference. The updated Audi A6 arrives in Australia from August, initially with this top flight 55 TFSI offering. Priced from $116,000, it will soon be joined by more affordable 45 TFSI variants, closer to the magic $100,000 mark. The big point of difference with the new A6 is Audi Connect Plus, a software system incorporated into two new centrally mounted screens. The program is included in the A6 purchase price for the first three years and for $300 annually thereafter. Audi Connect Plus allows users to remotely lock and unlock their car, set up a geofence, apply valet and secondary driver settings and much more via a new phone app. It also places emergency calls and brings a host of navigation and infotainment services with terrific detail, including how many vacant spots there are in a nearby car park, live fuel pricing and weather updates. It's a big step up from the predecessor vehicle. Of course, no Audi is complete without some redeeming mechanical features and the A6 offers that in spades thanks to a three litre turbocharged V6 that offers 250 kilowatts and 500 newton meters. Now that's not that far from the previous generation S6, and this car costs 50 grand less. The engine is mated to a seven speed dual clutch automatic and quattro all wheel drive, bringing a 0 to 100 time of 5.1 seconds and respectable fuel economy, which is brought about by a new 48 volt mild hybrid system. Now I've got to say, from low speed, this drive line isn't anywhere near as smooth as what I would have expected. In fact, taking off from a standstill, there's a noticeable delay of one or two seconds as the turbocharger, engine, hybrid system, and gearbox kind of piece the puzzle together. But from that point forward, there's a lot to like. Effortless forward search, a lot of mid-range punch out of corners, and an all-wheel drive system that is almost foolproof with its interventions. There's a lot of mechanical grip on offer here, and I like it. For an A6, this is quite a competent car through the corners. At two tons, the A6 manages corners, highway, and rougher roads superbly. Our car's optional combination of adaptive suspension and 21 inch wheels was near faultless, making for smooth, roomy progress on B grade roads. Throw in a broad back seat, 530 litre boot, a new tech suite, and the A6 is an incredibly comfortable long journey car. The A6 is so light and nimble that even withstanding its larger footprint, you can almost mistake it for an A4 on the road, and that's a good thing. I really like the ride and handling balance that engineers have been able to strike with this car. It seems to be able to follow the curvature of the road, shake off larger bumps, but at the same time, it isolates you from all but the harshest of hits like potholes. It's a really nice balance overall. Steering feel as well has taken a big step forward in terms of weighting and directness. You still don't get the desired level of feedback if you're a strict driver. Overall, it's a really nice balance. And the dampers that I just spoke about, well, they're not only good at isolating you from bumps, they control this car's mass really well. I mean, for just a run of the mill A6, this is a really enjoyable car to throw through a faster corner. Make no mistake, this is vintage Audi. Stonking engine, all wheel drive grip, and no shortage of ability through the corners. It's also bristling with equipment inside. But Audi's really turned up the lux factor with this car thanks to technology. And it really does set this car apart in the fight against the BMW 5 Series and Mercedes-Benz E-Class.